Hey y'all, hey. Welcome back to Tommy Bites TV. <laughs> As you can see, this is a bug out bag. This is my husband's bug out bag. We all have separate bags. So if we have to grab something and go, we all have our own bag. We're still working on some things. My husband has had his put together for a while, but we're still working on the other bags. So I will do a longer video with all, excuse that mess, this is his closet. And I just tried to pull some stuff out real quick to shoot a few minutes. Okay, so I pulled out, he had this uh, scrambled egg. One of the subscribers said to me that I needed to look for that. Um, and I didn't realize that he already had some in his bag, but I am gonna um, get some more of these. I think I know where he got these from. And it's the freeze dried scrambled eggs with bacon pre-cooked. I was saying, he's a trucker y'all. So of course he has his Bible. He has his first aid kit. He has some butane for his butane stove. I don't have his butane stove here. This is the little electric one that you have to plug up, but he has a butane one in his truck because the electric one was way too big to um, put in his truck. And then he has a fire starter here. And he has a um, straw thing here, some zip ties. It's out. We, I think I'm gonna wait for him to do the video so he can go over everything that's in his bag. So I'm just gonna do what's on top and say what's underneath. And first aid stuff, like I said, he has a solar panel um thing here yeah and then down here um this is our lanterns let's see if i can get, do it with one hand i can't get it there we go and that goes up pretty bright as you can see and then you got this one here i know i can't do it one hand because you got to twist it but it's a light underneath that and Trying not to get these old toes up in here. This is the batteries. I'm gonna put that back on. Tighten that back up. Uh. So this one. Let's see if you can see this. This slides open like this. And the button here. I don't know if his batteries are working. And they are. And that's your little light right there. levels to this thing okay and it just shuts back up and y'all this is a holster and you know what goes in a holster I'm not showing that right now um and we have plenty of those so underneath this stuff in here um I think he has like a sleeping bag a tarp um something to keep him warm you know one of those uh little blankets that um can keep you warm i can't go in all of this stuff he is I'm, he's gonna be like why are you in my stuff but i'm gonna see if i can get him to do a video on it if not i'll do a more extensive video on the stuff that's in here and why he has that in there and so over here, like I said, I had the holster. Of course, I have the scope. We have a few of those, and trust and believe, we all can bang bang. And that includes um, our 14-year-old daughter and our just turned 18-year-old son, ever since they were little. Um, and if you wanna see a video on me at the gun range, um, just let me know in the comments because my daughter said she wanted to go too. So we'll go one day soon. Um, and if there's something that you want to do, ladies, on Wednesdays in most places, 
it's free. It's free for, for, for us. You know what I'm saying? But it don't cost a lot to go, even if it's not free. So, what else? What else? What else? What else? We got some headphones, because you know that bang bang can get a little hectic. Another flashlight. And then another holster. camo stuff up here um blood pressure kit <laughs> we have emergency weather radio right there and you can plug up or put the batteries in um we got some more stuff now but i don't want to pull everything out so I hope you enjoyed this very short video. Um, if you want a longer video, let me know in the comments also. And I will try to get that put together for you. So I appreciate y'all for being here. And again, if you haven't liked this video, please feel free to go ahead and hit that like button for me. Um, also, subscribe to the channel, of course. Be a part of the family and turn on your post notifications so you'll get all the uploads from us over here. And feel free to share us out. <coughs> so y'all, sorry my voice is like this, but I just woke up and I was like, I don't know, something just put it on my mind and said, go and do this um, quick video, show a couple of things. And I hope that uh, this is not to scare anybody. You know, oh my God, why she got a bug out bag? Is she bugging? No, I'm not bugging. But if I have to bug out, I want to be prepared. Better buy. I have one already. I'm going to get another one. What? These right here. Because you saw how people was acting with the toilet paper and fighting in the store over toilet paper. Now, imagine somebody fighting over food, needing food, and want to break in your door. I saw Tupac do a, in his documentary. Do y'all remember that? If you saw, if you didn't, go and look at it. Because he, he, he said something at the time when it first came out years ago. You know, I didn't think nothing of it. But now, I do. You know, and it was like, well, why you do the stuff you do? Well, if I'm telling you I'm hungry and you don't feed me, I'm asking you, you know, can I get some food? I'm knocking on your door. I'm asking you, can I get some food? Let me in. You don't let me in. I'm getting hungrier. Now, these aren't all his words. But this is what I took from it. If I'm getting hungrier and I know I got to feed my family, I'm going to get some food the best way I know how to get it. And, you know, I see you loading up your house. I see you bringing all that stuff in. So guess what? I ain't knocking on your door no more. But see, I'd rather be prepared just in case than to not be prepared. Because... You don't want to knock up on this door. You don't want to knock up on this door. That's right. So, um, y'all don't think that I'm going crazy or anything like that. I'm not. We have always, always done this. And there were times I, oh man, telling my husband, man, you you're doing too much. You do. I would tell him, you're doing too much. But what he saw was, I have a family I have to protect. And if I'm not there, because he drives trucks a lot. And if I'm not there, I need you to, to step up and protect the family until I can get there. 
or we have, you know, a meeting location and we're going to go and we're going to meet in that location. You just grab the necessary stuff and we go. Um, I just noticed. Yeah. Uh oh, not everything over. You got all these little poster um, things hanging up right, right here. Yeah. So, y'all, that's it for the video. Um, I just want to do a sweet short video and i hope this inspires you to start your own bag for each family member that you have not just yourself because you ain't gonna be able to get everything in one bag and if you god forbid were to get separated whether it's a storm or anything that could take place because we didn't know that what's going on now would would take place in our lifetime so you don't know you know with people um willing to do any and everything to get power or stay in power um you don't know what can happen so you want each person in your household to have their own bag with their own supplies um i know he had like toothbrush and all that other stuff in there too i forgot to mention but like i said i'll go into detail if you really want to see really want to see <laughs> a video and even if you don't i probably still do a video because you never know what you need until you see it because i look at people's videos and i oh okay i didn't think about that well, let me get that right there you know what i'm saying so yeah everyone should have their own even the, the small children now with the small children i would say depending on how small you can do a bag this size you could do two kids in one. But for any person that's over the age of 10, they, you know, I would say maybe eight, need their own bag. They can carry it themselves. If we got to go, we got to go. We ain't got time to be packing all this other stuff up. You see what I'm saying? And then you need an emergency bag with your foods in it. But always have something, some things, rather, in your, um, in your bag that you can eat whether it's beef jerky some kind of protein you need to have that in there you need to have that in there and um something to start a fire with if you need to start a fire to keep warm or to feed yourself so don't forget you can use video. cotton balls sorry, and vaseline to also start a fire i got caught up now i got hyper i don't woke up i done got hyper but anyway y'all Y'all take care and remember to like the video, comment down below, share the video, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, all those good, beautiful things. And y'all have a blessed day. And remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are that person, then you can go out and spread God's love. But spread it with a little bit of distance because of Rome. Okay? And remember, I heard Leah Harper say, God did not tell Noah you will have buoyancy on the water. He said you need to prepare. That's like saying, you know, well, God got me. I'll be all right. I don't need to do all none of this right here. No, you need to prepare. And then God will handle the rest. Meet him halfway. Don't make him come all the way till you meet him halfway. Anyway, I ain't gonna get into that because I'm not, you know, I'm not one to say I know the Bible, this, that, and the third, but I am digging deeper into these scriptures. Let me tell you, in these days that we're in right now. So y'all, y'all take care. Be safe. Be blessed. Smooches.